going on to you libras so you have the page of pentacles the two of cups four of pentacles six of wands seven of cups hierophant high priestess four of cups four of swords and the ten of cups okay so what i'm seeing here for you libras is uh Okay, so some of you Libras, right? You have people that want to get to know you. The Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, they think that the two of you would actually be a very good fit with each other. They want to get to know you. They want to see what it is that you've got going on. Um, some of them may even come up to you and say something to you. That's better. Um, they're that interested. The Four of Pentacles, you know, they really want you to say yes. They really want you to start trying to hang out with them uh, because they are most definitely interested. They are interested. Um, the Six of Wands, however, is this is something that you should have had. This is something that a lot of you Libras should have gotten a long time ago, right? I want to say anywhere between six months to a year ago. Right. You should have had more people coming in and trying to talk to you, more people interested. But it had to happen like this because you still had a lot of the BS individuals around you. Right. Sorry to say this, Libra, but a lot of you Libras have BS people around you who are not real. They're, these are people who don't really have your back. You see those people as family members. Right. Or like real close individuals. And a lot of times you have that same problem with with Aquarius and Pisces where you think that everybody is your dang family. You think that everybody is your gosh darn family members. And that's not the case. You have people out here that will tell you, come to you with a smile and tell you that they have your best interest, whether it's friends, family members, romantic love interests, and they will lie to you straight to your face and do things that weaken you and sabotage you. But of course, you Libras knew that already. But the Six of Wands represents, but here you are now, finally getting that attention from a few people, actually, because the Seven of Cups represents you having some options, right? You prob This is probably another person that you are beginning to talk to. This is probably not your first in a while, you know what I mean? Um, you're just attractive right now. And what's making you even more attractive is the fact that you have a lot less baggage on your plate. You have a lot less food to eat on your plate. So it gives it, it makes it so that people can, basically, you have a lot less baggage coming in. People don't want to hang around, constructive people don't want to hang around individuals that have so much drama in their life because it's a sea, it's a sea of nonsense. They got to swim through the BS. They got to, unfortunately, right? They would have to swim through it. Constructive people don't want to do that. They want to make their life simple as much as they can. And then a lot of times people don't really understand like, well, well, bad, you know, money. You. This is what I mean when I say, even when it comes to the whole money situation, you can't even get money because your life is so caught up with drama Every which way in the world is going to be pulling you in different directions when you get money in your hand to separate you from said money. So even when you want to get to money or whatnot, you got bills in one. You got bills in one area. Then you got to look out for your for your person who may be in jail or prison or whatever in another area because they because they did some stupid stuff. Then you got this. Then you got that. Then you trying to figure out how to manage something for yourself, something for you to be able to feel good, to continue to keep going, to reward yourself with. You got to pull yourself in all these different directions. But now that you don't have that, that unnecessary drama, you're looking very good to a lot of people because you look like a plain Jane or a plain Joe, someone that is well rested. You ain't got to worry about the nonsense. So, And that makes you very attractive because you're approachable now. You know, you don't look like if you were to go get a drink at the bar, you look stressed out. 
you're going to get a drink at the bar if you into that or wherever it is that you go and you and you genuinely look like you're you know you're wearing your joy on your clothes you understand what i'm saying so the hierophant now represents and a lot of you libras just have to trust yourself you know you really just have to, to trust yourself the hierophant represents this is something that you should have got that that life is starting to manifest now. So don't shy away from it. Don't get scared. Embrace it for what it is. And then the, the higher priestess represents just that. If you need a break, take a break from other people. But don't you dare start to look at the life, the, the life that you always wanted to live actually manifesting like it's a curse and that it's a bad thing and that you need to run away from it. No, you need to embrace it. This is the life that you wanted to live and it's actually happening. The Four of Cups now is about how, um, so Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, really to kind of help you out with that, it's really about if if you're going to approach people and they're making it difficult on you, on you, don't hang out with them. Don't try to talk to them. These are people, how many times, for instance, to show and prove, how many times it's been where some of you may have gone to the gym, may have went to... I don't know, park or something like this, pull up bars, any social place where people have their headphones in and you could tell that they want to be left alone, right? Consider those types of people that is hard for you to interact with as those types of people that have that, that, uh, that, uh, what you call it, that, uh, headphones in, right? AirPods, whatever it is that you're calling it nowadays. And then you have the, you have the Ten of Cups, right? And the Ten of Cups represents, you should be able to let go of those individuals, but the Ten of Cups represents a whole new beginning happening now because you've closed out certain things. You've closed out the nonsense. And the nonsense is the drama with, with relationships that you've been keeping, right? That type of drama. A lot of you believers carry that type of baggage where you you know you've gone through marriages that didn't work yeah a lot of libras be getting divorced unfortunately a lot of libras be going through a lot of hardship when in the area of relationships that is is your your a lot of you are like libras that's part of the reason why a lot of y'all are so close to well libras is close to to virgo that all of y'all but that's part of the reason why it is that Libras is so close to Virgo because that's your problem area too. It's your relationships. Well, one of your problem areas, right? The idea in your life, I mean, <laughs> the idea that you, a lot of you Libras will be starting out in a hardcore relationship, marry the whole nine, but then it don't work out. And then now it's, this person is dysfunctional, destructive, all this nonsense. Two of y'all didn't see eye to eye. The two of y'all work better off as just friends, all this other stuff. But then what happens? Now, all of a sudden, no. Now it's a situation where you got to uh, uh, clean up the mess because of the dysfunctional person, right? Or the two of y'all wasn't what y'all who y'all thought you were. So a lot of you leavers now clearing that energy out. Now you're starting on something completely new. Now you actually have that that leeway that leniency in your life to actually be able to do the things that you want to do and see the people that you want to see let's clarify some of these cards let's clarify the uh high priestess hold on Clarify the High Priestess, we have the Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, the uh, Queen of Cups, and then we have the Four of Wands. So, like I said, this is a scenario for you where the Eight of Swords, to clarify the High Priestess, the Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands really is about how you didn't have, you, you know, things seemed very bleak. Now things are starting to look real good because... You've got rid of the nonsense now. So now a lot of you Libras have options. Choose to be single. Choose to get to know this person that is obviously interested in you, right? Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups that want to get to know you, see what it is that you are about. 
The Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands represents, or you can, uh, right, get to know them. They like you a lot. Or, like I said, you can be single. It's up to you. But the Queen of Cups, they want to get to know you, though. They, they want you to really choose up on them, right? Hang out, start hanging out with them a little bit. But that's pretty much it. 